Hi, Kristen Nichols here, Business Bootcamp for Dentists and Nickel Silver Business Solutions. I make dentists smile. I'm here to help dentists find relaxed confidence as business owners and as bosses. So today I have a question for you. Do you do special things for your staff? Do you lavish them with gifts and trips and take them to convention and take them out for dinner? That's a really nice thing to do. It makes everybody feel good. However, I'd like to know what your motivation is. I've met a lot of dentists whose motivation is to be liked or to buy loyalty. And I'm here to tell you it doesn't work. What it does is it sends you into a downward spiral, a cycle of big expense and disappointment. And here's why. You might be thinking that what you're doing is rewarding your staff or showing them how much you value them. There's nothing wrong with that. But essentially from a staff perspective, all those gifts add up to compensation. And eventually the cycle is that they become reliant on those gifts, that it becomes the norm, and so they're not as special anymore. I thought it would be helpful to a lot of dentists today to look at a staff perspective of what they expect from their boss. There's kind of an unwritten contract when you take on a job, and that is that the person who is running the business knows what they're doing and will provide leadership. Now that may seem really obvious to you, but if you think about it, it's kind of like when you board a ferry. You automatically expect that there's somebody at the helm that knows what they're doing. It's an unwritten contract. You wouldn't board the ferry if you knew for sure that the person at the helm wasn't really adept at steering a ship at maneuvering a ship. And yet, when a lot of employees are hired on in a dental office, they expect that there's somebody at the helm who's running the ship. And sometimes there isn't. What they're looking for is leadership. What they're looking for is somebody who knows how to make decisions, who's decisive and confident. Does that sound like you all the time? I didn't think so. Here's the thing. Your employees are looking for leadership. They're not looking to like you. And so when you are so tied up in feeling that you want to be liked, that you think the way to do it is to lavish them with gifts, to be over generous, open pocketbook, and do all those kinds of just because things that you feel will help them like you, you're on the wrong path. So maybe rather than do the dance of looking for friendship, what you should be doing is demonstrating leadership. And you know, your employees will like you a lot more for it.